Beth, we're going to do this fun little, it's just a short little segment, yes. right? We just wanted to show a fun thing that you do for your high school seniors. Yes. What's it, what's it called? It's called a cinemagraph. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually shoot video. So we're going to shoot about 15 seconds of video and we're going to create a still combined with motion. So it's kind of exciting. Kind of fun for them. And then how do you use these pieces? Uh, we're using mostly for social media marketing. We, we do add them to their uh, DVD slideshows with their images. Uh -huh. So, but m mostly social media. It's fun for them to get to share. That's yes, awesome. Exactly. I'm excited to see how this works. So yes. what was the setup? How did you, how do, what do we have to do to make this work correctly? So because we're shooting for video, we're basically going to use constant light. So we have a main, I basically have two lights for this setup at all. It, because it's a sports image, I want it to look kind of dark um, and the smoke to come in and be sort of ominous. So I'm just going to use a main light uh, with a fluorescent a constant light here and we're going to use a fill, an accent light for a kicker. Basically, right, right. so we really won't be using a fill. We're going to let his face go into shadow. And we were talking earlier, this is a horizontal. This has to yes. be horizontal has, because it's right. video, yes. right? And so yes. you're looking for motion that's moving left to right most often. Or is that kind of what matter. you're looking for? No, not really. We're going to actually probably make it right to left this or time. Or right to left. I mean, I mean yeah, horizontal. You it want it moving really, horizontal. Right. We want it moving more horizontal rather than up and down. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. You ready, Angela? Let's get Patrick into ready position there. A ball up a little bit more, Patrick. And turn your head just a little bit this way. Turn, turn, turn. And chin down. Perfect. Okay, ready? Action. All right, cut. Yeah. That's it. Patrick is really good at this. <laughs> like, Patrick is awesome. He does not move at all. <laughs> all right, I think that's a wrap. What we're going to do is, we, you can see I've brought the video clip into the software. And here, then, you can actually um, ex decide how long of a clip that you're going to take. And usually, for me, I, I don't want a very long clip, I want it to loop pretty quickly. Cause again, like at Instagram, you're stuck for like a 15 second loop. So right, right. Um, that's one of the things, but basically you can go in. So here's where you, the trim, you can take this and you can trim the size of the video down. Mm -hmm. You can decide how much um, in the loop, like how much dissolve there's gonna be between the items. Like the smoke was a little hard because where it was kind of coming in from one side to create uh, a loop that's going to be a little bit more difficult so I'm going to have a little bit more dissolve um, so we'll go in here into the masking portion of it and so you you're basically then going to select the frame and you can go in and you can see here I've masked him out so let's so this mask so basically you're going to take on here and you can either paint or erase so I can actually make that mask larger. Gotcha. Um, if he I, did such a good job of not moving anyway. <laughs> he was really great to not move. That's, that, sometimes that's the so hard part. So the key part. is the making sure that your subject doesn't really move all that much. Right. You try to get them not to move, but you're just really, and you don't want to shoot like a big long video. So for me, like I, I'm shooting like maybe a 10 or 15 second video tops because I don't want to go into the editing process and have to really narrow it down. Right. Because that takes a lot more time. And right. that's not what this is, this is about. I want something quick and exciting and fast so we can go in here then like let's say you decide oh I need to I've, I got too much you can see the purple area is the area that we're masking off so that's the part of the frame that's going to stay still and we can see that moving there behind him and what it's going to look like in gotcha. this in this preview okay